Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max light blue. The case is straight from Verizon. I was really surprised whenever I was in there because I'm the pickiest girl on the planet. But they actually had a case that I really liked. So my screen protector is looking a little distressed. This is what my lock screen looks like. It is just the Ed Hardy background that I found somewhere on Google, obviously. I know you weren't expecting that one. It just says love kills slowly, Beverly Hills madam. I like the little LaFleur symbol that's down there. I don't know, she's just really pretty. It says Heartbreaker as well. Look at my hitchhiker's thumb. My hitchhiker thumb is gonna be peeking through this whole video, so shout out to her. If you're wondering what this pink frizz is, um, it's a little pillow, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> it's not Jeffree Star's pink Pomeranian. I didn't steal drama or delicious. <laughs> Anyways, so as soon as you open up my phone, it looks like this. I love it so much. I'm obviously inspired by the way people did phones in like my middle school days on this app called Coco App uh, or whatever. I'll throw up the icon somewhere so you can see what the app looked like. As you can see, my TikTok icon is TikTok by Kesha. And if you tap it, it just goes straight to TikTok. If you want a tutorial on how to do your iPhone like this, there's literally so many on YouTube. After TikTok, there's Instagram. Obviously, my Instagram is zebra print. This is what my YouTube and settings look like. I don't know. I don't know if you can read, but it says settings and cursive down there. I have two widgets, which are from the normal Widget Smith app. It just has my battery percentage and then this really cute photo of me. This photo of me is on my Insta if you wanna go like it. It just says the date and time. After that, there's Shazam. I really like this shortcut because as soon as you click my Shazam app, it automatically starts listening to music. I always click Shazam a little too late and the song is over. My app store is called a Fab Store and it has a picture of Joe Jonas on it from his Jonas Brothers days. This photo actually gave me intense memories because I dressed up as Joe Jonas in kindergarten and it was actually like the costume that we bought at Party City had this exact photo on it. It's a blingy little gif that I made into an app icon. I actually made this one. The next one is weather and it says there's a 30% chance that it's already raining which is from Mean Girls. Hopefully you knew that. Can't really read it too good but oh well. I found this photos app icon on the app I was talking about Coco Appa and I just edited on a black heart to make it little more emo. Next is my Twitter, which this app icon was already made. Twitter is something that I try to refrain to use because Twitter to me is like a cesspool that I don't want to be associated with. Twitter is for like news and drama and I'm not really about the drama surprisingly. Up next is my maps which, as you can see, it says keep calm and read the directions. I don't know how I thought of that to put that as my map icon. Feel free to steal any of these icons. Honestly, this took way longer than it needed to take. I spent two days customizing my phone for this video. Beside that, there's a photo of Lindsay Lohan and it says you lost your phone again. Uh, you can't really see but it says that. The only reason that I have this new iPhone 13 Pro Max is because I lost my other phone in the Goodwill bins. That's the backstory on that. I made this FaceTime app icon. That's what it looks like. Below, I keep the bare necessities, which is the phone app, Safari, and music messages. My Safari app says Cyber Girl of the Month and it has a photo of Tess Taylor. I actually made this 
I made this one too. It's a Juicy Couture Sidekick. It has a little ringing symbol. I put that on there. My music icon is just a little mp3 player. Lastly, my messages are pink zebra print. Now it's time to flip to the next page and go from the top. I have the Vinted app. I made this logo so Vinted should actually run me my check because it's way better than their logo that they have. It has a little safety pin. Next to that is Snapchat. I hate when people are like, ew, you still use Snapchat? Like, shut the fuck up. I'll use whatever I want to use. Next to that is my Spotify, which I have Apple Music down here and then Spotify up here. Priorities, question mark. I'm not the biggest fan of Apple Music, but I'm too lazy to change everything to Spotify. My Viva La Music. Next to that is the Buy app. If you really want cheap clothes from overseas, that's the app for you. I am a frugal girl at heart. I love the old eBay logo, so I kept that made this Poshmark logo as well as this Mercari logo. Again, they should run me my check. As many of you know, I'm a Depop seller, so I put Depop Princess and it has a picture of moi. I'll try to get up close so you can see my gorgeousness. This big widget is just Draculaura's About Me section. I read it sometimes whenever I just need to ground myself. Pause to read it if you want. Surely you have this memorized though. This next page has to be my favorite. <gasps> Do we see that? It has a gif of Snooky. This um, is a Photo Kid gif. So you can just download Photo Kid and you can get widgets like this. Of course I chose Snooki. Starting from the top we just have a photo of Snooki and her friends from probably like 2008 or 2007. Beside that is my DoorDash. I'm always DoorDashing so that's right at the top. My notebook app which is also from Coco app or whatever. I didn't make that one. I did make this PayPal logo. It has a little Hello Kitty bow. As you can see. I don't know where these two mice are from but they're nostalgic to me for, for some odd reason. I think they were on like Nickelodeon or some ish. If you know where these are from then let me know. Below that I have my Uber app and my HBO Max which it says MySpace Hora. My iMovie which I use sometimes for my generic edits that take two seconds. I I'm not like you kiddos that have all these cool apps. Sometimes I use iMovie when I'm feeling lazy. Is it gonna focus? This Peacock app has a Katy Perry icon because Katy Perry has a song called Peacock off her Teenage Dream album. It was my ish whenever I was 12. Let me try to get a cute, let me try to get a good angle. Snooki is just constantly dancing on my phone. Another rare of Snooki is right here and it's a regular Widget Smith widget. Both of these are my Uber app. Uh, I actually made this Netflix, Tumblr, and Hulu. All of these are customized by moi. The Tumblr app says that's so Tumblr. I'm still not over it. This is my favorite page for sure. <laughs> Now who wanna suck my pussy? These gifs just really make the phone so special. My Pinterest is Zebra. My calculator app says four bimbos only. Next to that is Tubi, which I named it Booby Tubi because I always watch Girls Next Door on it. The icon is Holly, Bridget, and Kendra. Beside that is Apple TV. Really just wanted to make the logo, no reason why it's on here in any specific order. Apple TV isn't that cool or revolutionary. I don't know what Apple was thinking they were doing. My mail is all in here. The mail I never read. Fonto is an app that I use to make my YouTube thumbnails. All of the titles and stuff are made from Fonto. I really love this next one. Tell me this isn't the coolest thing ever. 
This is a photo of Jenna Marbles and it says how to trick people into thinking you're good looking. Yeah, I love that video with my whole heart. I miss Jenna so much. This is back in her tanning like weightlifting days whenever she always wore smoky eyes. It's a photo of Jenna Marbles and it says how to trick people into thinking you're good looking and it's my that's my Sephora app which I thought was cute and clever. My last one on this page is podcasts. It's a photo of the Wild Child soundtrack. It's one of my favorite movies so I wanted to incorporate it. Heidi Montag is just applying her Dior lip gloss forever and ever eternally she's stuck in my phone just applying lip gloss forever and ever the last page is nothing spectacular it has two gifs one of one of alexis nyers and one of nicole ritchie and paris hilton whenever you make your phone like this you have to have two versions of every app so there's doubles to all of these apps right here. This last page is nothing special. I keep my games on here. I've been playing Pocket God ever since I was a kid. If you remember this game. Oh, I have to drop him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look at him. Pocket God. Oh my gosh. Such a good game. The only games I play are Pocket God and Subway Surfers. I do have a few little apps hidden away in here, but I won't show you guys. They're just like little dating apps that I don't feel like showing and stuff. I honestly did my phone like this just for you guys. I never even use my homepage. I always just like search the apps up, if you know what I mean. I never go and look on it on my homepage. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's What's on My iPhone video. Let me know if you want me to change up my iPhone and do it again because I could always give it a makeover. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed um, making this video so, so much. Feel free to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to don't if you don't want to. Um, kisses to my biznatches. Adios.